Our next guests today are very familiar friends of our studio. Welcome Kimberly LaRussa of Sweet Buffalo and Julie Starr of Buddy Second Chance Rescue. Ladies, thank you so much for being here Thanks today. Thanks for having us. So who did you bring here today with you? So this is Sadie. Sadie is a four-year-old German Shepherd mix. She's a beautiful dog. She came from Laredo, Texas. She's about 65 pounds, crate trained, house trained, great with other dogs, good on a leash. Oh, she's, she's a great so girl. Sweet. She's so, so beautiful. And her energy is, is actually kind of low and mellow, she right? She is very calm. She's a very calm dog, so she would do great, I think, in any type of household. Wonderful. So let's chat about um, Laredo, Texas and bringing dogs up here. Um, why is it so important to your rescue to do that? Julie? Laredo is definitely um, my baby, my project. It is one of the top kill shelters in the country. When I say top, I'm saying like top five. So every dog we get out of there, I wish we could get more, but it makes a huge difference. Absolutely, and you're doing so much. You have this new facility yeah. too that you're housing these dogs. You're bringing dogs up by the dozens. What does it mean for dogs like Sadie? Uh, for Sadie, she's getting a second chance at life. Um, she's getting to have the home she never had and you know, getting to start over here in Western New York with us. Yeah, and Kim, talk about your involvement with Sweet Buffalo and Buddy's Second Chance and how you're supporting dogs like Sadie. Yeah, so our goal at Sweet Buffalo is to partner with local business owners and help fundraise for animal rescues like Buddy's Second Chance. So we recently teamed up with Buffalo's Candle Co. And we are selling these amazing City of Good Rescuers candles. How adorable is that? And um, you know, the proceeds will help um, dogs like Sadie here and also cats at 10 Lives Club. So we can't forget about the cat. So we have City of Good Rescuers, Love a dog it. and a cat. And there's also other options as well. And um, this Thursday, Christine Bailey of Buffalo, she's gonna come to network for a cause at Hofbrauss. Um, uh, the, Opera House, yes, yes. Yep, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, she's going to come and sell the candles because we at Sweet Buffalo, we don't have anything to sell. So sure. what we want to do is bring the buddies dogs and sell the candles there. So um, we encourage everyone to come out for a good cause that night and maybe adopt a dog or buy a candle. Amazing. So how does it work? They can come and buy a candle. Does a percentage of the candle sale benefit buddies? Yes, they're, they're $20 each and then a percentage will benefit buddies second chance and 10 lives club. How did you guys come up with a candle sale? I mean, do they, did you come up with the, the the, the uh, scent of the candle, the name of the candle, how did that kind of work out? Um, so Christine kind of sent us the designs and um, we got to, you know, pick which dog would be on there. So she wanted a, a you know, a little mutt um, dog and a neutral looking dog. So, cause we love all dogs here. So sure. um, mm -hmm. she helped pick the dog out. And then, yeah, we kind of just got a little creative with Christine and uh, went to work. Why do fundraisers like this matter, Julie? I mean, you don't get state or federal funding, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. So things like this really do matter. It comes with, you know, donors being yeah. very good to you. Why does this matter? Oh yeah, it's huge. Uh, every penny matters. So any amount, small or large, that comes into the organization makes a huge difference. You know, just this last two months, we've had three severe surgeries done. We've had torn CCLs, things like that. And the more dogs we take out of Laredo, the more surgeries we are seeing that we're having because of just the condition of the animals there and to us those are the most important ones to save because I hate to say it, but those are the ones that are going to get put to sleep first because they're not going to spend the money to help them so those are the ones that we want to save yeah. which is also another reason we bought our facility with a public daycare the money that comes into that daycare will then go back into the dogs directly amazing. so every dog that you bring into the daycare goes to saving another dog that's amazing and surgeries like that like like that you were talking yeah. about, they add up, right? Yeah, they're about $4,000 a piece. Okay, and then you're yeah. doing three or four per month. A couple months, yeah. That is a lot of money. So all support from the Western New York community obviously helps. Anything you want to add about Sadie and adopting Sadie and getting her into the perfect home? Sadie is a great dog, and I think that, you know, any dog would be, or any home would probably be ideal for her, and that if, you know, you're considering fostering dogs like Sadie, you know, you get to save them. And not only do you save her, but you save the dog that gets to take the place in her kennel. Yeah. So you're saving, you know, technically two dogs when you save one. Julie, let's talk about fostering really quickly, yeah. too. Why is that important, and how can people support fostering? So... When you foster for buddies, everything is included. We have trainers, we have you know everything on staff, we have crates, treats, toys, anything you need. We have a huge support system. We call ourselves a rescue family because anytime anyone needs anything, we're all there to jump in and help. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, any dog that you can save, it makes a difference to that dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we really, we, we would love more fosters. That's always number one. Of course. Anything you want to add, Kim, about working with buddies or any fundraisers that are coming up aside from this candle sale? 
You know, we just um, love working with Buddies. They're an incredible organization. Um, I love that they want to bring these dogs to also help people and do good things. So, um, like I said, they'll be with us on Thursday at Hofbra House Buff in Buffalo, <laughs> and then also on Saturday at the Kindness Festival at the Eastern Hills Mall with their adoptable dogs. Wonderful. Well, thank you, ladies, so much for coming. We'll see you next week. You're here every yeah. week, so can't wait to see who you bring next week, and hopefully Sadie gets her home soon. She is a love, so yes. we're wishing her well. Thank you. Find out more about these kids candles at buffalowickscandlecompany.com or at this Thursday's Network for a Cause event.